really quick, we just want to rem remember to keep in mind our community guidelines. Um, so here they all are. I'm sure we're all very familiar with them, but so if you want to go ahead and read them off, you can to yourself. Um, but basically remember, just be respectful of others and um, whatever is said here stays here, but whatever you learn from this discussion, please keep that in mind and yeah. All right, so tonight we're going to be discussing the Filipino family dynamic. Um, we are going to be addressing the stereotypes uh, that comes with Filipino families and Asian families in general. Um, one thing that we're known for is taking strictness to another level um, when it comes to hanging out with friends or going out or uh, also like school being your number one priority and all that stuff. Um, so we do want to address that stereotype. Um, also, the differing gender expectations um, that go on in Filipino and Asian families. Um, you know, we see a lot that the men of the family or and the sons are usually um, not held responsible as much um, for like domestic matters, whereas, but they're also like expected more to like be more successful like career-wise whereas the women and daughters of our culture are usually supposed to stay at home or not have as big as careers um and then as well as the stereotype of asian families always expecting exceptionality always having to be top of the class always have to be number one um as you can see here so why do our parents and um, generations come before us, why do they think that way? Um, we're gonna be addressing like why the way their, our parental cells are the way they are and is it a cultural thing? Um, here's some more pictures. Um, and they're also gonna be having discussions with each other on seeing whether or not we actually have like all been through some experiences um, with their parents and families, um, or if anyone has like a very different experience, we'd also like to hear from them as well. And then lastly, we want to see how we have been affected by um, this stereotypical family dynamic and stereotypes and how that affects us in our college careers and how it has affected us up till now. So tonight to get us all thinking, um, we came up with some mentee polls uh, to help introduce bigger questions we'll be discussing tonight. So for those of you who haven't used this yet, uh, it's super easy to use. Uh, you just go to menti.com and put in the code at the top of the slide. I'll also drop it in chat. And then um, you put your answers in and it'll pop up on the screen. Um, the more times a particular first Menti question of the night is what is your love language? And the five love languages are quality time, receiving gifts, uh, acts of service, physical touch, and words of affirmation.
Because you can see quality time and physical touch are like really big in our um, culture and like just keeping these like love languages in mind. Um, we'll let you get the rest of your questions in, but um, we're going to go into a deeper question just um, building off of this. Okay, we're going to go into breakout rooms to discuss on um, this question. How does the love language of your parents conflict slash coincide with yours? Just like to emphasize again, this is a safe space. You don't have to say anything. And so we have menti poll number two. What word comes to mind when you think of family? And there should be As you can see, love is a big part of family and food. I connect food a lot to family and to my culture, so. Um, okay, so for big question number two, um, how has the Filipino household inhibited or promoted your growth as a person? And again, we'll be sharing this um, in, with our breakout rooms, so feel free to discuss with the people in your breakout rooms. All right, um, excuse the background noise, but our uh, third and last menti poll is what aspects of Filipino heritage culture and parenting that you enjoy. All right, I'm seeing a lot of food. I do agree, food, parties. Yes, those are a good, those are very good. I do agree with them. <laughs>
All right, y'all, this, this will be our last um, breakout room for discussion. So the question is, what is a value you want to teach future generations? And I actually have some final thoughts. I just want to say thank you, for everyone, for coming and like being open to talk about family. Family is a very sensitive topic. So I just, you know, thank you for coming by and supporting the interns. And also want to say I'm so proud of us interns for doing this. And yeah, I'm really, ha really happy to have y'all as my team. I love y'all, you're my family, my community, thank you. I also wanted to say I'm very proud of you interns. Y'all did great and I'm, yeah, I love you all and I'm just very proud of you. All right, well, that is all we have for you guys tonight. Thank you guys so much for coming. The interns really appreciate it. And yeah, that's all. Have a good night, guys. Thank you.